Uh, hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this uh, problem. Um, yeah, I'm in San Francisco this week, so I'm a little bit tired. With I think this is right now 4 a.m. in the East Coast time, so I hope this, uh, this is good. Uh, so I'm very really tired, so we'll see if I can do this hard problem, especially after doing the virtual contest. Um, did kind of okay, but not, eh, I need to, I don't need to, but I should do a little bit better. I feel like I, I'm capable better, but that's besides the point. Anyway, today's problem is 1335, minimum difficulty of a job schedule. So you want to schedule a list of jobs in D days. Jobs are dependent. To finish I job, you have to finish all the jobs J smaller than it. You have to finish one task every day. The difficult uh, difficulty of a job schedule is somewhat difficult each day, so you have to do them in order, and and the difficulty of a job is the maximum difficulty each day. Um, so you're given a job difficulty away, and in your D, the difficulty of the I job is the, what's the D for? What is D as you go to again? The difficulty of the schedule is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Okay. This feels like dynamic programming. And with n is equal to 300, I feel like that's probably right. And also, now that I think about it, of course, recently we've been doing dynamic programming problems. So I, you know, so I guess that all lines up a little bit. Um, hmm. But yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm doing clicking things. Uh, okay. I, I lost the window for a second. So yeah, um, what is D equals 4? Huh? What's D again? Oh, D days. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I don't get it. What does negative one mean? I don't. Huh? Oh, at least one task every day, I see. So I was wondering why this was giving a negative one, it's because we have too many days for the for the jobs. That's kind of a weird thing to say, because, eh, but okay, that's fine. I just thought it was very confusing. Okay, so D is less than 10. Um, that's actually also weird, but maybe not. Um, but okay, let's, let's start with the naive, uh, you know, um, yeah, um, this approach so index makes sense because that's the number of things you're doing um and then maybe the mm, i want to think about how you do it do you do it a day at a time or mm, i don't know maybe okay I, there are a couple of potential ways you can do it right but just to kind of let's do analysis real quickly. Index is going to be 0 to 300. Um, and then the left is going to be 0 to 10. And then if we have an inner loop that does 300, then th this will um, be O of n time in between. Maybe that's fine. Or So the question is, you can also promote that into a state. And actually, that's fine too in theory. But, but you know, I'm just trying to think whether that makes sense as well. Um, so yeah, let's let's do the for loop one and we'll see if it's fast enough and then we'll figure it out. But yeah, um Yeah, if index is equal to n, then we return let's see, right? So n is equal to oops. Um and then what, what do we want to say? Uh, this is not quite true yet because we have d left, right? So if d left is equal to zero, then we return zero. Otherwise, then we actually want to return uh, infinity, right? Because that means that we have extra days left when we finish, so we don't want this as an answer, so let's have an infinity. Um, okay, so then after that, we let's just do a for loop, right? We go uh, for i is you go to, um, let's just say we start from index, and then we go all the way to n, and basically you want this to be one day, right? So this is min d of do, 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 uh, i plus 1, because then now you start at the new day, and then d left minus 1, um, and that's, yeah. And then the cost is going to, so this is the, the recursion cost of the future, but the current difficulty cost is just going to be, cost is equal to 0, and then cost goes to max of cost 
and job difficulty of I because now you're keeping a rolling max um, of the thing and then you just do a cross and yeah and then now your best is you go to min of best and then this thing and we turn best uh, yeah and then we start best of course at infinity and then we just kick it off min d of zero d d yeah uh, you can't really do it this way because uh, you'll see in a second because if this is greater than infinity then we return negative one but otherwise this is roughly okay yes go away autocorrect let's run it real quick i know that this is again of course can run tle but time limit exceeded but looks okay for at least the sample cases so let's add the caching um again yeah so the number so the time complexity uh, is equal to the number of of inputs times t uh, time per input. The number number of of input is equal to O of n times d, um, and each input takes uh, O of n time. So total uh, time complexity is going to be O of n squared times d, which in this case nine hundred or 90,000 times 10, it's going to be roughly okay. Um, yeah, each each space or each input takes O of one space, so total space complexity is going to be O of n times t. Of course, we actually have to do it, so the way that I always do it, as you know, or I try to do it for teaching, is going to be uh, something like this, times, uh, let's just say, d left plus one, for do 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 do, uh, oops, also plus one and then same for cash right and then you could do something like if has cash of index d left then you return the cash and the reason why you can do this i always say it but i, I want to say it again is because for every time you have the same input you get the same output right so that's basically the idea um of memorization Give a quick spin. I think it was at like 51 millisecond. This one. Uh, did I? Oh, whoops. I meant D. Of course. Hmm. The same about the same time, but a little bit wrong. Did I mess up the caching? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Huh. Because without the caching, this was true, right? Or this was right? Did I mess up? Hmm. All right, let's because we had the right answer before, right? So why does caching screw that up? Did I have a, a typo? Hmm. I don't modify the thing. Huh. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Here. That is hilarious, but I don't know what, what's up. Oh, why did I put nine? Can you even do nine? Nine is, maybe I just got the other ones luckily, but still nine is, if we just put this up and this up, right? Six plus three. Huh? Why does the caching change that? I'm really confused to be honest. Wow. Maybe it's just one of those days where did I cache the right thing? Did I modify anything by accident? Tell me why. Do, 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 do. So, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, that is weird, huh? All right, let's put it out. Why not? Mm, this is actually not that useful, to be honest. But. Hmm. 
So I think it's that. Zero two is that zero one? Is that one is five? Mm, I don't get it. Wow, did I have a typo somewhere? What? Props for you at home if you spot the thing before I do, but how is that even possible? Did I do it the wrong way? No, n minus n. Hmm. What the hey? I don't get it. Why is the caching changing it? Because the idea is that if it, you have the same input, you get the same output, right? So that just messes up the caching clearly, but. Huh? What is what is going on? What do you mean list object? Did I put in a min d plus cross? I am so confused. Did I miss the paren? What is going on? I don't really know. Do, 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 do. Do. What is going on? I'm losing my mind out here. Uh, okay, well. Huh. Sorry, friends at home. I really don't know what, what, uh... This object's not callable? Am I using the wrong Python or something? What is going on? Oh, oh, because add cache makes sense. Okay, but okay, so that part makes sense because I was because I was overloading this. But why is this cache? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I overlap in the real way? Why is my cache wrong? Like okay, fine. The LLU cache makes sense, but but why is my cache wrong? Did I do it wrong? As cache force. Wah. I, I'm so confused. Honestly, like unless I have an obvious typo that I just missed, I can't believe I'm spending like time on this is actually kind of annoying hmm so it's returning infinity then why is this true now yeah, I guess that's fine as long as we calculate it but literally none of the cache ones work D left oh huh it's because I have negative. Uh, that's what. That's the one. I, I actually messed up on this one, to be honest. Um, yeah. Okay. Fine. I see. Wow. That is actually terrible. Uh, this is actually uh, one pet peeve of mine about Python is the negative notations. Um, sorry, friends. That took a while. Uh, I thought I had it covered. I thought because usually I write an if statement here or here. Um, Hopefully this is not too slow though, because I was focused on that. Um, I would say nine twenty nine days trick, yeah, um, yeah, because 
in in most reasonable languages, that would have given me an out of bounds exception on this one, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, of course, because I didn't check it for negative. But here, it it uses the last answers, and that's why it was just wrong. Um, yeah, eh. sorry, friends. But that's pretty much it. That's all I have. So yeah, I already did the complexity. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. And today is a bad problem solving day for me. But eh, I'll just get some sleep and hopefully tomorrow will be better. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.